हरे कृष्णा गॉड्स एग्जिस्टेंस इज नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ फिजिकल प्रोबेबिलिटी बट ऑफ लॉजिकल नेसेसिटी फिजिकल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गॉड्स एग्जिस्टेंस मीन्स दैट समटाइम्स सम साइंटिफिक रिसर्च मे शो दैट अ पर्टिकुलर फेनोमेना हैज extremely low probability of happening so for example say uh, uh, the possibility of uh, of uh, the first life form evolving uh, from non living chemicals uh, that probability may be mathematically so low as to be impossible and therefore this points to the exist uh, there is the point the points to the need for a uh, intelligent designer for some some kind of intelligence uh, higher intelligence that made the origin of life possible now this sort of mathematical reasoning is good within <clears throat> a particular frame of operation so for those whose um, mode of thinking is primarily driven by uh, by mathematics and by physical evidence and physical inference for them this kind of evidence may sometimes be useful but god's existence is not dependent on physical probability um, that suppose some research changes uh, in the future some some other factors come into picture and the statistics change and suppose something which was considered to be mathematically improbable uh, physically improbable that suppose later someone some proposal that this is physically probable now therefore there is no need uh, for us to postulate the existence of a cosmic designer now this is a matter of inference from evidence and such inference can change or the the more if the evidence changes so god's existence does not depend on the such mathematical probabilities now god's existence is a logical necessity it's not a matter of probability why because if you understand the definition of god he is the source of all of existence now we often may think of god as some image we see in the temple yes that is that is how god manifests before us but god is not just that image god is the is the Uh, so this is the omnipotent source of everything and that supreme being who is the source of everything is necessary for the existence of anything and just as we can have a 100 story building but that 100 story building cannot exist unless there is some foundation uh, through by uh, unless the, there is a ground on which it rests similarly we have so many things existing in nature and god's existence is not dependent on the on the math physical probability of one thing of one floor of the move of the ascent from say one floor to the next floor how probabilities or how improbabilities god's existence is the foundation of everything no nothing would exist so probabilities themselves would not exist probability for anything would not exist because nothing would exist the probability would be zero for the existence of anything if god did not exist so as long as we think of god as some concept derived from the uh, derived so either we think of god as a image in the temple which is a cultural conception or we think of god as a uh, evidence of, uh, derived from the inference from nature which <clears throat> is a inferential conception these are conceptions which can be used in certain contexts to bolster certain people's faith in god but they do not determine the existence of god when we understand the definition of god when we understand the world view and the philosophy underlying that definition then we understand that god's existence is not just a pothetic is not just a physical probability it's not a possibility it's a logical necessity न तदस्ति पृथिव्या कृष्णसिद्धवीता यापी सर्वूता बीज तदहम अर्जुन न तदस्ति विना यन मैं भूतम चराचर कृष्णसिद्ध टेन पॉइंट थर्टी नाइन इन द गीता 
that I am the seed of all of existence. Without me, nothing can exist. So, uh, God as the source of existence is a logical necessity for the existence of everything else, including physics and including probability. Thank you. Hare Krishna.